Welcome to Electron Online. In the case of parabolas, you will always have either a maximum value or a minimum value for the function. In the case of the parabola opening downward, notice you'll have a maximum value here. And in the case of the parabola opening upward, you'll have a minimum value. Those points representing either the maximum value or the minimum value of a parabola are called the vertices or the vertex of that parabola. And the, the qualifications for having a parabola that opens downward, the coefficient of the leading term is less than zero. So A here would have to be a negative value. And here, if we expect the parabola to open upward so that we have a minimum value, that requires the coefficient of the leading term to be a positive value. Notice that the vertex will have a coordinate x and y, and so we denote that by x sub v and y sub v. So x sub v and y sub v are the coordinates of that particular point of vertex indicating either the maximum or the minimum value. How you can find that value? Well, you first find the value for the x-coordinate of the vertex, and to find that we have x is equal to minus b divided by 2a. Now, what does that mean? Well, notice that a, b, and c are the coefficients of the three terms that make up a quadratic equation, therefore that would be graphed as a parabola. And b is the coefficient of the middle term, a is the coefficient of the first term right there. So to find x, we simply take minus b divided by 2a, and that will give us the value for the x-coordinate of the vertex. That works for either a parabola that opens downward or a parabola that, work, that opens upward. Now to find the corresponding y value of that point, all we have to do is take this value and plug it into our original function. So to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we can then set uh, every x in the equation equal to the value that we found for the x-coordinate, and I should say x of v there because that's really what it is. So to find it, we say y when x is equal to minus b over 2a, and that would then be equal to a, times x squared, now x of course will be minus b over 2a, quantity squared, plus b times x, and x would be minus b over 2a, and then we add plus c to that. So whatever that value is, that would then be the y-coordinate of your particular vertex. And that's how we find either the max or the minimum value. How we know that it's either a maximum value or a minimum value, well, for that we have to go back to looking at the equation itself. And again, if we see that the coefficient of the first term is negative, if it's less than zero, then we know the parabola opens downward and it must be a maximum value. If the coefficient in front of the first term, the a here in front of the x squared, is a positive value greater than zero, then we know that the vertex must be minimum value because we know the parabola opens upward. And that's how we know the difference. So now you know how to find the vertices of a parabola. In other words, they represent either the maximum or minimum value of that function. And we know that it's a maximum value or a minimum value by looking at the, the sign of the coefficient of the first term. And we find the x and y values using this particular technique. And that's how it's done.